name is Keats and I am from Snappy Apps and uh, we're looking at an app called Tile Calculator today and we're just going to run you through a quick tutorial of how it's used. So when you first come into the app you'll see the main menu screen. There's a lot you can do here but if you're just using this to as a calculator you can simply go into Tile and you can do Tile Calculations. However it does a lot more you can, uh, you can save several jobs from here um, several estimates and um, do conversions and you also have a construction calculator up here that you can click into and do uh, calculations at any time. Okay, so let's get going. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into jobs and I'm going to create a new job. So we go into jobs and I go plus and I'll just call it 23 Pine Street. Hit OK. Oh, now we got full screen ad come up, but we'll get rid of that. Okay, so 23 Pine Street is selected. As you can see with the arrow here, we can select it. We can also delete it with the garbage can, but for now we want to work with it, so it's selected, so we're going to back out of here. Um, you can use the areas module to calculate complicated areas. If you have very complex shapes that you're tiling or stoning or covering in any way, sheeting in any way. But for this tutorial, we're going to skip that and we're going to go right into tile. So we're in Tile, we're in uh, 23 Pine Street, we can see our job title up in the title bar here. Um, so the first thing we do is we put in our area size. Uh, for this demo we're doing a, we're actually doing stone, but same thing for Tile, but we're doing a 25 foot by 30 foot uh, patio. So we'll go ahead and click on our length, our calculator pops up. You can either enter a straight value here or you can do a calculation. Or you can even recall memory locations if you have something stored in memory. But for now, we're going to go 25 feet, and we're going to hit the back button on our phone, and 25 feet will be put into our length. Height, which can also be width or depth or however you want to look at your square, is going to be 30 feet. If you do need to do uh, inches and, and fractional inches, you just keep going. So we could go 6 inch, and a half would be 1 numerator, 2 denominator. So now we get 30 feet, six and a half. So for this uh, example, I guess we'll use that. We'll hit back again, and that value will enter into our, our height. And that gives us our total area in square footage. You could also work in meters or centimeters or whichever units uh, you prefer. Uh, openings, I don't know, maybe we'd have a fire pit or some sort of opening in the center. In this case, we don't, but you can easily just click on openings, enter a square footage value, or square yardage, square meters, whatever you want, and hit back, and that will uh, subtract from your uh, total area. Now we're gonna set up our tile. So as you can see on our diagram, we have a pattern with three separate tiles. So we're gonna enter three separate tiles in here. So our first tile we're gonna enter as our large tile and it is one foot by one foot. So again, we just click on it, enter one foot and back, one foot and back. Um, if you're not gonna do any estimating, you're just gonna do number of tile estimating, you can leave the rest blank. But uh, for us, we'll, uh, we'll put something in here. So let's put in uh, $8.50 per tile, uh, labor per tile, we'll go 0.2. Uh, our hours per unit, so that's per tile. Uh, waste percentage, we're going to have a bit, so we'll go 5%. And that's our first tile. So now we'll go to our second tile. So now we'll do our long tile, which is one foot by half a foot. So we'll go one foot by six inch. And again, we'll put in a tile cost, I don't know, five bucks. And labor per tile, these are smaller, we'll go 0 0.1. This is just for a quick sample, so don't uh, write in the comments about how my numbers are off. We'll go 5% waste. <clears throat> and then that's our second tile, we'll put in our third tile. We can cycle between our tiles at any time and edit them. But for now, we'll go to our third tile. That's our small tile, six inch by six inch. So six inch. Again, you can work in metric on here, of course, with the meter, centimeter, and millimeter button. 
So now we have a six inch by six inch tile. We'll say that one costs four bucks. Say it's 0.1 labor per tile. And we'll go 5% waste again. Okay, so now we have all three of our tiles in. Just leave your fourth tile blank. <clears throat> and now we'll go to our tile coverage ratio. So in our example, if you look at our diagram, uh, each pattern includes only a single tile of each type. So in our scenario, we'll go one, one, and let's get rid of this decimal, and one. Oops. And we don't have a fourth tile. So our tile ratio is one, one, one for our pattern because we have one of each tile in our repeating pattern. Um, down here, we can uh, put in our grout uh, estimation. Again, if you're not worried about this, just leave it blank. Um, this is grout per number of tiles, stone, whatever you're sheeting with. So let's say we're going to use uh, one bag of grout for every 50 stones. Let's say a bag of our grout costs $35. Uh, labor per grout is going to be two hours per bag. Okay, so we got all our numbers in. We're happy. Double check everything, make sure everything's good. At this point, you hit the equals button. And this will bring up um, your estimate. So it's gonna show you the number of tile one, number of tile two you require, number of tile three. Of course, these are all equal because we're doing a one, one, one ratio on our pattern. Um, it'll give the cost of each individual tile it will give the grout required, the uh, cost of your grout subtotal, which is uh, all your tiles and your grout added together, and then the number of labor hours. Um, at this point, if this is all you require, you can email it to yourself, or you can it'll be saved, so you can come back in here and hit equals at any time to see it. Um, as soon as we hit equals, though, it actually got added to our estimate sheet. So at this point, we can uh, view an ad, which will make uh, me a little bit of money to uh, for all my hard work. If you don't want to view an ad, just uh, email. You can email the results to yourself, or you can just dismiss it. But as I said, at this point, this has been added in to your estimate sheet now. So if you go into your estimates sheet, you'll see a new tile object, 23 Pine Street. So you could do several estimates for the job, 23 Pine Street, and it'll keep adding them up here. Um, if you change jobs, it changes estimate sheets. So each estimate sheet is uh, for a single job. But anyway, we can see our one estimate we did. We didn't name it, so this is called New Tile Object. We could go back there into Tile and click on the uh, title bar. This is where you can do actually several estimates per job, so we could add estimates in here. For now, I'm just going to uh, rename this. Uh, call it uh, Back Patio. <clears throat> Uh, but we could add more in here, so we might be doing the kitchen, the bathroom, several things at 23 Pine Street. We could add all our estimates right in here. But for now, we're going to back out. Now it's at least has a name, so when we go into the estimate sheet, <clears throat> we'll see back patio instead of new object, which really makes no sense. Um, now, this tutorial is not really for the estimate, but I'll quick go through it. Uh, this is going to show all your estimates. There's not much you can do here other than view them. Uh, you can then go into summary. In here, all your calculated results are in green. You cannot edit these, which it shows an error. Uh, anything in black, though, is values that you're going to want to add in. So you can add in quoted materials. You can add in your markup. This is going to show your profit, your total. Uh, then we get into labor. You got your labor hours. You can put in travel time. Um, you can put in a labor rate, a labor cost, a markup on your labor. And this will calculate all out all your profits and your totals. And then there's, <clears throat> finally in the summary, there's an expense section for permits, rentals, fuel, of course, other, the all-encompassing one. That'll give a total here. And when you have all that in, you can go into results, and this will give all the subtotals, broke down into materials, profits, labor, and expenses. And, of course, then it'll go into a total. Uh, you can add a tax rate in there, and it'll give your, uh, your subtotal, then your taxation, then your, uh, your total. And of course, at any point, you can email this to yourself, and that way you can print it out or uh, send it off to a colleague or whatever you need to do with it. So that's about it. That's a uh, basic calculation for a uh, stone patio. Um, any kind of sheeting would be the t same tile. 
uh, drywall for that matter, whatever. <clears throat> and um, as you can see, it's a very powerful program. You can uh, you can you, you do multiple jobs and multiple projects per job, um, all within the uh, the single program. So please make sure you uh, click on our ads so uh, we can make a little bit of money for all our hard work here. And uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for using TalCalc.